Hi guys, it's your Scotsman here, Ames, and we are coming back to the quarry. Last time we left off, we started to get to know more of the campers. I actually think I remember all their names. So we got Laura and Max, who didn't even manage to get to the camp. Well, they didn't get to the camp. We know they got to the camp, but according to the other campers, they never showed up. So they are, they are, they are, they are status is up in the air whether they're alive or dead so we've got Laura and Max we've got Jacob who's the cat jock character we've got uh we've got Emma who is his love interest of sorts we've got Nick Dylan Ryan uh that's six out of nine camper so far uh Abby uh, Abby yeah, Abby or Abigail. Um, I think I mentioned Ryan, but we're going to say Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. And oh, what's her name? Brenda Song's character. Um, it's not Kaylee. Riley? Kaylee or Riley? Oh, I'm forgetting one. Well, anyway, so we got introduced to them because of Jacob wanting to have one more night with Emma, they're all stuck there. Uh, David Arquette's character, um, Mr. H. Hackett, he's not too, he's quite on edge and we're not too sure why. So maybe he's involved in the kind of disappearance of Max and Laura, we'll have to find out. So yeah, essentially all the campers are stuck and they're wanting to make the most out of their situation, even though they've been told stay in the cabin and I'm sure we're going to find out why they should have stayed in the cabin. So anyway guys, going to waste no more time and let's dive on in. So if I remember we have just picked up sticks with Nick and Abigail? Yeah. After he got jumped by a boar. Up oh, here we are. Caitlin, that's her name. So we are going to be playing Caitlin now. She's the only character we've not played yet. So, okay. Damn it, I can finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. I'm not getting any am or fim. My favorite radio stations. Oh, okay. It's like it's like the Lion King, you just need to hold it up high. It's like nya vasin ya. Try and get a signal. So someone at the window? It's gonna be creepy. Just zooms in in the window, and someone's just staring back. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Hey, Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras <clears throat> everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not. Uh, whoa, now back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look at all. Oh, man. he's he, watching. He's Trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Honest, weird light in the treehouse. No service. Be honest. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. Ooh. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Ooh. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? <laughs> you know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. Well. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood. I have work to do, okay? Because playlists don't make themselves. True. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, Rag Guy, <clears throat> time to get wood. Yes. Rag Guy. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that, Yeah. Too. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs She's here. She's tiny. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Hog boar. Playful hog of Hackett's quarry. B 
Be playful. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> Hack. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My reaction to uh okay, yeah. Cool. Oh. cool. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come Dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not <clears throat> even real. Uh well, well, I mean it's a real yeah. gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine, fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. Fr no freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Oh, that right. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find oh, these. Oh, God. Hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Mine. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on, Emma. Please hand me the shotgun. Whoa. What, you gonna shoot me? Okay. <laughs> Calm down. No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. No, dude. Okay. Absolutely not. No. Stern, not beaving you with the gun. Mocking, not a great idea. Stern. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on. Look, the shooting range is like right over there. Okay, it'll be fun. Okay, look. What? You and me. Old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops. All their shootout, right? A fucking shootout. Dude, I the guess question. you don't want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms. If you're gonna oh my god! I mean, the, okay, then you can be the, the ref. You need an objective third party. The gun's just oh, as big as hell. get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on! Please. The gun is bigger than her. All right. I guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Right, shootout, right? a fucking There's a shootout. Can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. Abby's just like, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, Nick. Okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually boys, get I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming matismo, matismo. the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. Yes, ma'am. So is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm yes. always hot, pencil deck. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. So hot. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Oh, it was magical. <laughs> I almost had her, but then I found a better pig. Uh, evasive. Hopeful. Be evasive. Fine. How was your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma. Oh, dude. It's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just gotta figure out this whole long distance thing. Uh, Is that what she wants? I want to know what she wants. Well, I mean, you could ask her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ask a girl. Permission. <laughs> what she Speaking thinks. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> yeah. Okay, please just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Okay. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're oh, aiming. Oh, combat tutorial? <clears throat> 
So this is the last one, let's give it a watch. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. Okay. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Uh -huh. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. Yeah. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. All right. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're an R-Turf now, bitch. All right, okay. Understood. So, further away, more spread, close up, more damage. Whoa! What? All right, Nick, one point. Oh, I had it, okay. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. <laughs> For someone that's wanting to be very real heavy, are like, let's fuck these guys up, let's fuck these melons, melons. Right, this time for real. Right. Okay. Oh! Nice shot. What a balloon! Nice. Lucky. <laughs> Luck ain't got nothing to do with it. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. Jacob. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Yeah. I thought you were an ultra elite pro, Martin. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, hey, all right. Right. <laughs> nah. That is how you get someone shot. Fucking idiot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Good game. Gloat. Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. <laughs> Peanut butter, butter, pops. Okay, I get it. I get it. Twerk in his face. Blam! We thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. I thought she only loaded three bullets. But damn, that's sexy. Whew. Damn. Oh, party time. Now, now it's night. We, we ain't seeing no daytime, no daylight until all this is over. Copyright music. Ananana. Ananamanana. Bambadabba banana. Banana. Banana, banana, banana. Okay. New idea. Party game. Okay. Uh, Truth or dare? Well, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Okay. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate yeah. game of secrets and lies? Truth or dare? Lies. But Dylan style. Dylan style. Mm -hmm. Okay. House rules are someone asks you truth or dare. Then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, okay. like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose uh, dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's returned. <laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. 
through the door. Um. Ooh. True. True. You really dodged a bullet, huh? Ha. Huh. All right. Here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? That was an easy one. Oh, I. Uh, um, I. I mean, even if you're you haven't, just say you haven't, then. Interrupt. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um... Abby, oh my god, just pick someone. Give it a second. Okay, okay, um... I don't know. Anyone. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Ooh. Give me what you got. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. Okay. And I dare you to kiss oh, no. either Caitlyn oh. or Dylan. Wow. Oh no! I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry, I don't make the rules. And you literally <laughs> just did, but okay, let's do this. Okay, so can I choose who I ship? I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I personally would go with Caitlyn, but I quite like the kind of back and forth between Dylan. I don't know. Whoa, don't flash like that. Caitlyn, let's see what happens. Caitlyn, shall we? Oh, he's a little bit annoyed. Always happy to please. That was awkward. Alright. Oh no, Dylan. Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. I like how Caitlin didn't have to like bend over to kiss. Like she's just the right height. Uh, Caitlin. Caitlin. What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. Can I, can I pick? Oh. Ever hook up with Jacob? Oh. What did you want to be when you grew up? Go for that. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, that's kind of a boring question. Oh, okay. Got an answer. Well, the answer is... I don't know. That's the truth. Sorry. So, guess it's my turn. Nope. What? I smell bullshit. <laughs> Okay, fine. You got me. I wanted to be a street performer. Okay. <laughs> no way. What, well, um... <laughs> a street performer? You mean like, um... <laughs> like... No, actually. Come on. Or, you know, one of those statue guys that move when you give them a dollar. Oh, really? Caitlin is a mime? Yeah, no, I just can't imagine that. It'd be interesting. Thanks, Ryan. Well played. Now it's my turn. Emma. There. Oh. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Nick. Oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> oh. Well then. Go for Nick. Um, uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. She's trying to cause drama! She's trying to cause drama! M. Seriously? She's trying to make Jacob jealous and Abby jealous. Oh no! Oh, that's like a kiss kiss! Nice. God, that's like a kiss kiss! Not in front of Abby! Fucking idiot! Me, fucking Go. push off! Oh, Emma's got a bit of a dark side. 
She fucking did that on purpose. Thank you, Nick. Right, don't get angry at him. It's fucking her. She made the choice. He's good. Oh! What are you fucking... You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? What are you beating your chest at? It's fucking her that did it. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Uh... This, Jacob, yeah. grow up. Everyone's gonna split up now. This is where shit's gonna turn to chaos. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. Come on, man. How'd you think that was going to so, go? Anybody want to play Parcheesi? Oh, what the fuck is that? What? <laughs> yeah. It, well, what is it? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Never heard of it. Parcheesi. Hey, can we play? Oh, <laughs> they were just watching. They're quite close. How did they not see them? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck this bullshit. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. I don't think I have a card for you, sorry. So, then. What more has been found? Nothing. You return without any more of my cards. Damn it. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Okay. Please, my friend. Okay. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows dark. wonder where that card was. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Well, Be careful. <clears throat> Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. I mean, there was that path just before I came across the boar with uh, Nick and Abby, so that, maybe that's what it was. Because I checked everywhere else, I'm sure. Oh, that's chapter two, anyway. Chapter three, Trouble in Paradise. Oh, this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets juicy. 10 past 9, August 22nd, Abigail Hackett Woods. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? Okay. Let's have a wee wander then. First things first, let's look at the paths. So, playing with fire. So Emma chose to take the fireworks with her. Emma set off the fireworks, rejoining the others at the fire pit. Oh, could I have maybe kept them then? If I left them, would someone else have gotten them? Ah, shit. That might have been a bad choice. So where are we? So Shady Glade. Shady Glade, one of many wooden walks through Hackett's Quarry. It's so named due to its canopy of tall trees that grow here there. The dirt path through the forlorial underground makes for a scenery, atmospheric walk through nature. Fire pit. Uh, Dylan, Caitlin, Ryan, they're still there. Relax and unwind with a sing-along by the fire pit. Situated right on the picture picturesque lakeside, it's the perfect place to catch up with your bunk mates after a hard day's hecketeering. Oh, hacketeering, sorry. Okay. Right, if you we can head that way or we can head this way. I'm gonna head this way. Can you find me some cards? We're being watched? I think we're being watched. We can go this way. I think this might be just going back the way we came though. Oh, yes! Ah! Made the right call there. Ah, oh, so we missed two cards. Okay. So the tower. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves. But often when we leap out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. So basically, 
even when you get out of the way of the danger, it's like basically it's out of the fry. What is it? Um, out of the frying pan into the fire. So it's like you have one danger, but you put yourself in an even more dangerous situation, or uh, equally as dangerous, essentially. That's basically what the uh, the tower card is. Right, made a good call. Glad we came this way. She's embarrassed. She doesn't want to shout. Call back. Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming. coming! Nick! Hey. There we go. Hey. Um. Hi. Oh. Uh, it's a predator. You ran off. Is that the Prince logo she's got on her necklace? I was Egyptian, I know that. Evasive. Too much smoke. A little intense. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, at least you're honest with each other. Honesty is the best policy, direct. So you and Emma are cautious about what happened. About what happened. So, all that stuff back there. Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I think it was, I, it was yeah. just playing along. Make Jacob yeah. jealous and make Abby just jealous, game, maybe. Right. Right. Oh, he likes you. Just kiss him. The monster's like, yes, one of the, the slasher tropes. Teenage couple kissing in the woods. Time for me to go for the kill. <laughs> Nick is falling for you. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. That's not, no. Did you actually hear that? Should we look? Mm-hmm. That's no bore. Oh, it's the Evil Dead camera. <laughs> oh, just like that, we're done. Oh, no, continues. Okay, we might need to run. Oh, that's no bore. It's too growly. Dog boy. Oh, just leave. Don't just leave her. Oh. Help, Nick. Oh, he's just watching us. Oh, no. Jesus Christ! Who's shooting the gun? Is it the two two hillbilly looking guys? Just just run anyway. Well, at least you know he'll remember that we did attempt to save him. Hide. It's 
pig is behind you. Shh. Oh shit. Oh, down! Fuck. Right. Climb tree? No, don't climb tree. This thing can climb. Yeah, there's no point climbing the tree because this thing's very agile. It'll climb the tree before we do. Okay, I think I might have been a good choice because nothing bad's happened from not climbing it, so... Fucking hell. Oh my god, it's Man Bear Pig! Get away from those kids, Man Bear Pig! Leave them be! We have evaded Man Bear Pig! Excelsior! Well, I hope Nick's okay. Oh, Jacob. Oh, he's not crying, is he? Uh, I, I ruined the car just to have one more night with her. I, I, I love her. <laughs> uh. Oh. Poor Jacob. I mean, I feel so more sorry for you if you didn't get everyone stuck here. And if you aren't that much of a dick to Ryan, just have a drink. He is crying! Oh, oh, Jockey boy's got some feelings. <laughs> you know, it's just not fair. I thought she would find it romantic. If I just, you know, ruined the car, got her stuck here. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. It's not tears, by Oops. the way. It's just splash back from the stones. Sleeping down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, <sighs> was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, just sure, got attached. Yeah. Too attached. I mean, you just love having an audience, huh? <laughs> Jacob. I mean, you. I can't believe you. You fucking Frenched him. <laughs> you know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. Frenched? Are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. Oh! oh. I'm, oh. Doesn't know. You, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing, never mind. Fine. <sighs> you can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Oh, come <laughs> Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? What? Well, boobs We agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite... Well, I think the summer season actually officially ends in September. Okay. I think it does. My calendar said it did. Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. Um. Who the 
fuck is that? Oh, is that someone like cement shoes? Is that someone being like, oh god, right, okay. Ah, I got another card. The star card. <clears throat> okay, the star. Oh, it's the star. Stars in the night sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose. Or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star, which it comes clarity and sometimes proof. Yeah, that's a bit, that's quite deep. Just, you know, stars are a reminder that we're just so insignificant. Anyway. At least we've got two cards, so we have more stuff to present to the lady next time. Yeah, that guy's got a nice pair of cement shoes. I wonder what that's about. Four months on hiker, still oh, no, missing. Oh, is it the hiker that we see in the water? Uh, North Kill Gazette. A recent newspaper article about two hikers who went missing in these woods. As of the date of publication, they haven't been found. Wonder if it was near here. Damn. See, yeah, what I love about the like these games, or like no swimming sign, or you know, until dawn, is that they have like so much going on, and it feels like three different things, and but they just all kind of comes together. So like in until dawn, you have um, the slasher. The mining incident and the mysterious man with the flamethrower. And it's like there's three things going on at once. It's like, what the fuck's going on? And then it all kind of comes to a head and it like comes together. And you're like, oh no, it's actually this one twi thing, this, this twist. So, uh, I quite like how they've got all that going on in this as well. Right, anyway. A handmade sign warning people of swimming near the boathouse. How dangerous can a lake be? Or maybe it's hiding evidence. Yeah, we'll see about that. Maybe it's hiding evidence. What's that? That bag? I can't pick it up or whatever. Here's another one. Oh, what's this? Check it and thack it. Check it and thack it. Oh, well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Oh, camp photo. Uh, a faded camp photograph from 1970s. According to the names uh, printed below, two of the boys in the picture appear to be Hackett's. Who the hell is Thackett? Thackett. Right, up, st up the stairs we go, I guess. What's that? I see something shiny. Oh no, that's just the beam. Right, okay. Right, right, right. Oh, no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. <laughs> what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. I'm drying up. Hmm. What are these numbers? People found and taken, maybe? Oh. Show text. Bowhouse Logbook 1. One tw in 2016, two in 2017, three in 2019, five in 2021. Manageable but unsustainable. Sailing rules, reminder for councillors. Keep all boats rinsed after use. Be vigilant, no swimming. Yeah, I bet they're dumping bodies. Like, that's the number of bodies that was years. My god. Yeah, like, all this going on, Mr. Hackett cannot. Mr. H clearly knows something's going on. Like, you can't be running a place like this and not realise what's going on, like, under his nose.
Hello. Why, hello there. Nothing. Okay. Well, what are we waiting for? There's a young lady down there needing our attention. What's this? Nothing, right? Let's get our asses down there. Give some swimming lessons. I can check over here just in case there's a clue. Right, anyway, time's a wasting. Is there anything over here? Never really checked. Nah, okay. Time for swimming. Okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry. Drip dry, or you know, could shake it out doggy style. Oh. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can because you see, oh, help, help! I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> she does love fucking with you. You know what? Move. I think you should start moving on, Jacob. You know. Yeah, well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. I'm ignoring you. She's gonna find something. Oh! Whoa! It's Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Got ya. What the hell, man? Got you. Emma's getting bored of this. Well, oh, stop being a dick okay. then. Okay, now you're gonna get it. <laughs> hey, quit it! Oh, stop being a uh, War effects are a little weird looking. A oh, splasher. Uh, attack! Uh, hey. <laughs> oh, maybe he's gonna find something now. <laughs> Dick move. Well, a sentimental flirt. Okay, flirt. Okay, hey, look, <clears throat> check this out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take a picture of me. Uh, yeah, uh, for your like. Um, I mean, how she got little subscribers or whatever. Top ten guys who will keep you satisfied <laughs> at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The romantic music stopped. I guess we have to. S oh. Huh? Oh. Oh shit, the road on Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. Help, Abby. Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Ah. Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? what seriously? Yes! Fuck off, Emma. You, you made your choice. Abby, I'm coming, baby. 
That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Love triangle. Nick or Abby. Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Huh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? Fuck. We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or. Oh. I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. We gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Impatient, what happened? Uh, where is it? Where's Nick? Go after Nick! Go! Reluctant, you should do it. I got this. Okay, I got this. I'm in charge. Time to fulfill my character arc and take that control. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Actually, maybe she should have done it since she's like an expert. Shit, your guns. Okay. Nice backpack. I still like it. Okay, okay. We got this. Take shortcut, follow path. Take shortcut. One more. Yeah. If I remember anything about uh, Until Dawn, take the shortcut. It will definitely help out in the long run. Take shortcut again. Whoa. At least the courtesy of making things go in slow mo during these quick tees. Right, okay. We got another shortcut. Can't trip now, son. Come on, Ryan, you can do this. I think I all worked out. Yes! In the nick of time. Whoa, no, 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 no! Uh, I've chosen. Uh, hey! Get the fuck off of him! Stop, stop! I'll see. Uh, hey, Pa, get him! Yeah, that's too wide, too far. Oh! Oh no! What the fuck? I mean, you already bet it. You have to shoot the full thing off. What the fuck is going on? He just casually walks away. Holy shit, dude! Gotta get, gotta get, we gotta go. Good walk, Ken. Come on, gotta go. Did he get hit? Get back to the fire.
fucking hell. Tense. Right, check out the paths again. So we got a full errant. Rajika removed the rotor arm for the minivan, which led to the minivan fail to start so the counsellors couldn't leave Hackett's quarry, which led to the rotor arm fell out of Jacob's pocket. Ah, that's what he was talking about. I wasn't too sure what he was on about when he was when he thought he dropped something, right? When he was swimming in the lake. Jacob chose not to dive into the lake in search of the lost rotor arm. The rotor arm is lost forever. Shit. Maybe I should have went back for it because Abby was... Abby got saved anyway. Ah, fuck. Damn. I mean, if we had the rotor arm, we could easily just connect it back to the car and then just get the fuck out. Fuck, maybe we should have We should have went for the, the rotor arm. Well, that's fucked. So I'm assuming that's what this tape would have been. It's like, we could have got out of there. Shit. Right, what's the other ones? Piece of the sil piece of silver. Name your price. Betrayal is sometimes merited, but it always comes with a price. It's up to you to measure whether the cost or outweighs the gain. So Abby came to save uh, Abby came to next aid when he was attacked by in the woods. Oh, what's this one? Uh, finders keepers losers weepers as you try to survive the night without being coated in blood you might find help where you least expect it whether or not you accept it's your choice ryan raced through the forest in time to see nick being dragged away by a hunter ryan took a shot and missed the hunter ryan witnessed the hunter shoot his finger off for some reason right okay camp oh we've got a few more we've got the island so that's m islands at the island the island in the lake was once just an unexcavated section of the central quarry it now stands as a pillar of what is meant to be hacketeer Hakka adventure wilderness and individuality boathouse boathouse the boathouse has everything you need to take the water take to the water and experience the true beauty of lake septimus Water sports have always been a favourite activity among campers, so grab your boat, row to the island and see what you can find. Disclaimer, no swimming without supervision, Jacob. Lake Septimus. Lake Septimus, once the beating heart of the quarry, Lake Septimus was named after Septimus Hackett, who made the decision to foreclose and flood the quarry, paving the way for a beautiful return to nature we see today. Disclaimer, no swimming without supervision. So it's an emphasis of no one goes in the water without, you know, someone to watch over them. Okay. So we're now Jacob Hackett's stop Hackett Woods. Stop it, stop it. Oh, shit, we should have went after the thing. So now that Abby's with Caitlin. Oh, Jesus. And Nick's with Ryan. Jacob's, Jacob's going to be by himself. Go for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. You hear that? Sounds like a animal. Is that a pig? The boar? The boar? Oh, the boar. I said don't call out. Oh, it was a trap. Come on. Oh, come on. Shit. Ah, damn. <laughs> Oh, big man's here. 
Who the fuck are you? Let me down. Oh, please. Yeah, he's, he's just, not the kind of guy. Down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Doesn't seem like the guy you want to square off. I mean, he's fucking huge. Oh Jesus Christ! What the fuck are you doing? God, son of a bitch! Oh, he's, oh, what are you doing? he's big. Shh. Quiet. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Yeah, I don't think these guys are as bad as what they're kind of what the being fuck? portrayed as. What the fuck? So that's interesting. What does blood have to do with it? Oh, that's where the pig went. The boar, not pig. We have established it is not a pig. It is indeed a boar. Ah, here we go. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. I know. <laughs> Can't keep away from you. So, then, what have we got? Two cards. It's the star. Mm -hmm. Stars. Stars in the night. Sky. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope. Purpose. Or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. The tower. The tower. Jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Right. Let's see what they have to offer then. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes. See more. Yes. Good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So what oh, I have to choose. Choose. The tower. Okay. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's quarry you go. Oh, okay. All the fun you'll have. Okay. So it looks like Abby goes to jump on the, the zip line and then falls to her death. So maybe not jump on the zip line? It was it, it was I I I don't Chapter even know. Chapter four, don't was. panic. It was so fast and, and there was a uh, there was a hunter and it was just Oh Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Okay. <laughs> Nick, hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Abby? Super right next to you. We need to know what happened. Right. I got fucked up. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Just... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Nah, yeah, that was no bear. That says bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad. Dude. Fuck. Apply pressure. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, Come on. Do not have meant to just keep tapping it, or if I actually have to hit okay? like a certain point. Okay. Uh, fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. Oh fuck. You think? We should cut it off before the infection spreads. Oh no. What? Dismissive. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? It's so casual. Jacob and his manly pecs. Call out. Hey! You got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't give it away. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. Nothing. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run! Oh, don't get cocky, please, Ryan. Very brave. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, uh... Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? It's Jacob. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Yes, Jacob. I'm here to save you. Holy shit, Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked in the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck! Of course they are. Uh. Concerned. Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yes. Yeah, why? Well, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Gotta tell him about the also, guy. Why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh yeah, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a he had like a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah. No, oh, it's super fucked up. Right. Okay. Gotta go get Emma. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get! Please don't fuck about the gun. Don't fuck about with the gun, please. What? Fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, 
We're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian! Sorry. <laughs> that was a weird laugh. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Okay. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Wheelbarrow time. Okay. Okay. Emma. Let's see what tonight brings. Hackett's Quarry Island. Okay. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? You. This fool. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. <laughs> okay. And it was here. On a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Full moon. Okay, full disclosure. I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, okay. there's a tree house over there. I'm going to go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Panoramic. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. It's not a bad island. Decent, decently sized. Can I go in here? No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au natural for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Oh, God, no. Swimming in shit. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Okay. Anything here? And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Yeah, very self-explanatory. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. It is what it is. I think I've made my point. Yeah, let's move on. Right, there's nothing over here, is there? So this island Squirrel! is an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water. Kind of like an airbed. Is deer in the island? But... I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. Yep. Venting again. So sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? She's a fat guy having his noodles watching his oh, her videos. He's like, I don't know. Fucking leave him. A fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. High ground. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. 
I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Or, you know, yeah. Yeah, true. Hopefully the kid's okay. Where does this lead? Is it like a zip line? Yeah, there's a zip line at the end of this path. Loving the, the music. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Speed this up a little bit, yeah. This oh. is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. <laughs> well There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. <laughs> but first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. Oh my god, I've just got so much ranting and vexing to do. I hope Abby's I hope okay. Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool though, they're smart. They'll get oh, it. Okay, Emma. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Oh, well, they were. Not so much now. Where does this go? Don't fall off, please. You can't die yet. Okay. Well, this crazy phone, look at these sights. Whoa. Okay, let's go in here. Or can we go around it? No, we can't go around it. Let's go in. And here we are, as promised. One extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Aww. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? Fuck off. I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. So was someone in here? Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. Uh, I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? Mm. But... I don't recognize this. Oh. Did you hear that? Someone's here. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trapdoor and die a horrible, painful death? Snip. Snip. Search bag. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. What clothes we got might give us an idea of who's up there. Quite baggy, so... Oh! <laughs> Made the right choice, I think. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not going to make me jump, I can promise you that much. I think it's the big guy because that sounds like it's <laughs> something's quite heavy up there. Bye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. <laughs> Whoa! Use 
bear spray. Bear spray. Whoa! What the fuck is wrong with his eyes? Oh! It looks a little different from the last one, so is there more than one now? Jeez. Whoa, that was quick. Oh god. Run. Run. I think I've run out of spray. Whoa. Going around in circles here. Whoa, jump! What was it doing stuck up there? Oh, what now? Trap door. Fuck. Oh, throw it! Get up there, get up there! Fucking go! Fucking go! Fucking go, you fucking woman! Fucking go, Emma! <laughs> you fucking woman! <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Fucking woman, you! You fucking human being! Fucking hell, now she's stuck up there. Oh! A minute to ten, August 22nd, Dylan. I guess Easy. they're at the lodge. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, I feel, no, I feel no, fine. Sorry, I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food. Oh, it's, it's okay. not like a werewolf situation, is it? Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Oh, uh, that just doesn't sound well, good. Don't like that. I'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh. Yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> yes, I got it. Strength. Strength. The sh oh, okay, strength. <laughs> strength, strength, strength. Strength, strength. Strength can be surprising knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into a previously unknown energy, I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. Okay. So with the strength card, I think that's gonna gonna show us. This will open the nurses' station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. Hopefully it'll show us something. I'll get you some handy. Shit. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yes, there is. Let's go. Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Optimistic. I hope you are going to be okay. Cautious. Do you think it has their scent? Hmm. Cautious. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is... I don't know. Has their scent or something? What? I don't know. Like, what if it got a taste for it's blood possible. and now it's going to track them down? I, I doubt uh, it. We, you never know. I mean, that doesn't I look exactly like if we normal. Stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're probably right. <sighs> Come on. Let's go call for backup. All right. Let's go. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. Call for reinforcements. You never came down here at night while camp was in session. What? No. Did you? A couple times. Yeah. Oh, what's this bullshit now? Fucking spirits. Dylan. Where are you going? I I, I I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Interesting. Dylan. Come out to play. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought.
Hopeful, that's good news. Be hopeful. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? Call for help. We gotta call for help. Yep. Who should I call? Ghost uh, <laughs> Ghostbusters. Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. <laughs> you mean 911? Who says 911? I've never heard that before. I don't know. Weird. Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Uh. Determine, call the cops. Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are, so it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now and we really need backup. Yes. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. The line's been cut. What's wrong? Just in the neck of time. Yeah. Like us. Dismissive. You sure you didn't hang up? That's weird. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right, when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. <laughs> okay. You're well, in a video game. You know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. Yep. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, uh, not a landline. Oh, the radio tower. What? The radio hut. Yeah. Has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. Right, okay. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Calm. Common collective. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. I don't want to act like Rambo, please. Uh, okay, just careful with it. Of course. I'll be fine. Right? Okay. Uh, Great, now the lights are out. Probably the weather. Fucking... Uh, what weather? Yeah, I was going to say. Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you, my friend. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaked. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Let's do these. Oh. A little huddle shuffle. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Does she need it? Give her your gun. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. You don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. Are you? I might be. Emphasis in the might. Just give her your gun. Fuck. Gav, they, they do. They might need it. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. <laughs> yeah, I want to hold your gun. <laughs> Don't write a check that you're asking cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Oh my god. Ryan appreciates your decision. 
What? Am I interrupting something? Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to say something. That's why we just kept staring at you. Let's rock and roll. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. I mentioned it. Okay, well, they reached the radio tower. We'll have to find that out in the next video. It's spicing up. It's indeed spicing up. Okay, so no one's dead yet. As I suspected, I think those kind of hellbilly two guys, I don't think they're as bad news as they're kind of being played up to be, which is something similar they did in Until Dawn. But again, don't know the full story. They could be acting nice to us for now, but then they could just try and fuck us over later. We'll have to wait and see. And uh, yeah. All the pieces are in play, everyone's somewhat separated or paired up in groups. And yeah, let's see if we can survive the night. So anyway guys, if you could like, subscribe and I'll see you guys for more The Quarry. Catch.